welcome to Do On Adventures. Exmouth, located 1,250 kilometres north of Perth on the West Australian coast, is home to the Ningaloo Reef. The Ningaloo Marine Park is a World Heritage listed site and harbours the world's largest fringing reef at 260 kilometres long. Exmouth is a classic Australian destination where the outback meets pristine coastline and beautiful beaches. The population here stands at about 3,000 people. However, in this COVID year where people can't travel overseas, apparently the town is home to 20,000 holidaymakers. So with the extra population in town, we knew there was going to be a bit of traffic in the area. Make sure you like the video and subscribe, it does help us out. Welcome back guys, we're in Exmouth at the moment. We are out in the Cape Range National Park and we're heading out to Yardi Creek. So we're gonna go for a bit of a walk through the gorge here and then hopefully by about midday the weather should have calmed down a little bit. It's quite windy this morning but it should be a little bit calmer around lunchtime and we'll get into some of these beaches around this national park as well. At Yardi Creek, which is about an hour's drive from Exmouth, you can go on a boat cruise for $40 per adult or $20 per child, hire kayaks or just walk the 800 metre track. We chose the track and that is where you get the magnificent bird's eye view of the creek. section where you do go into a bit of a valley so you got to watch yourself a little bit going down and back up but it did have some amazing uh, views to have a look at in there so that was really really nice we're going to stop in now we're heading on our way back towards Exmouth along this road um, I think it's called Sandy Beach or Sandy Bay and as we drove by before it looked absolutely stunning so we want to stop in there and have a little bit of a look Yeah, so this is Sandy Bay. Few people over sort of when you first walk in, but as soon as you get around this cove, there's absolutely no one and the water is crystal clear. So pretty nice spot to check out. If you wanted to, you can walk down there and have your own your own beach all yourself. All 
Alright, so we just tried to go into Turquoise Bay, but it is so busy. We are up here in the October school holidays, so we knew it was always going to be busy, especially with COVID. You know, a lot of people can't go overseas, so a lot of people are holidaying within Western Australia. But that was just out of control. There must have been 500 cars in there, and it was almost like being on the freeway, you know, stop, start, the whole way, just trying to get in there. We only left the other place because we are supposed to be meeting some family at Turquoise Bay, so I think it's a bit of a lesson in, you know, Turquoise Bay has the name and a bit of a reputation and everyone wants to go there, but where we were at Sandy Bay before that was just as good um, and with, you know, only about 50 people there. So definitely in these times of the years, there's that option to explore some other areas and find beaches just as good. So we're not going to bother with that. It's too many people. We're heading back into town to get some food and we'll um, do something else instead, I think. I'm going out with you tonight Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down, I don't know why I know it's so surreal Think I want you here back at Sandy Bay this morning. I've come out on a bit of a solo mission this morning by myself because I wanted to get the sunrise up at the lighthouse which is right on the headland of the Cape. It is beautiful for sunrise, beautiful for sunset as well so either or you can get a really nice view from up there so the sunrise over um, the water on the eastern side and when it sets on the western side it's sort of setting over the reef you know along here along that Ningaloo reef which is beautiful too so if you are in Exmouth you should experience one of those there's not a person around I've got it all to myself and that sort of epitomizes what dawn's all about I guess that early start to experience things that other people don't there. The times they had on the thing today though were um, wrong 
but yeah, it really is about a two hour window normally that you can go there. It's um, quite windy now, the wind's picked up a fair bit, so we're just gonna try and find a bit of a bay to have some lunch, but it'll probably be that we head back to town before too long, since it's all windy out on this western side. The wind picked up significantly into the afternoon, so we headed to the eastern side of Cape Range National Park to Charles Knife Canyon. The road in is quite spectacular as you head to the top of the canyon, which then opens out to some amazing views. Canyon is 10 kilometers further north, with this drive taking you through the canyon. It was very corrugated and took a bit of time to travel the 12 kilometer track in. While this eastern side of the park was nice for something to do while windy, it doesn't match the beauty of the beaches on the western side. That's it for our time in Exmouth. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content. Here's another couple of videos you might like.